All right, so I am going to start a new game here. I have actually been messing around with the cartographer and I have made some islands of my own. So if you look at the screen, you can see um, two of the islands are actually a lot bigger than the others. So I created this one and I created this one. And um, just from watching YouTubers play this game, I've learned that creating islands, um, you can generate a lot more stuff on created islands. And um, that would help me more in the game with just uh, collecting more, more things and being able to build up a little bit quicker. So I thought I would have a little fun with that. And we are going to see how that goes. I've never done that before, so... We'll see what that looks like. We're going to start a brand new game. This is a new save slot. Um, let's jump right in. Ooh, permadeath. Wow. You can actually change it so that the um, wildlife is passive. Um, but I put it on default, so it should just be the normal normal setting. If you put it on passive, um, the animals actually won't attack you, and I, that includes sharks. All right, here we go. I'm going to be quiet. This is the famous intro scene. Just, uh, what? 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 Oh, my God. Oh my god. Plane's going down. Uh. Oh. Whoa. Get to a life raft on the surface, it says. Oh. Uh, is that a wine bottle? A newspaper? Alright, we gotta get to the surface, guys. Oh, the pilot's cabin up there. They're all dead. Alright, let's try to get out of here. Oh my god. Where am I? My life raft. Whoa, Jesus. Explosions. Loading scene. And here we go. I wake up the next morning. And I'm here, on my raft. My plane is nowhere in sight. Uh, my raft has some stuff on it. Looks like there's a date on here. Okay, got some storage, some rations. Uh, I've got an anchor here, and I've got the paddle. All right. <clears throat> well. We need need to get to the island and get out of the uh, get out of the water. Get to the shore. It says. Pick up the paddle if you want. Yeah. Okay. We did that. All right. See if I can remember how to do all this. It's been a minute. Okay. What? No. <laughs> no. I'm trying to put the paddle away. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's pull this thing. Oh. Don't want to flip it. All right. Great. Okay. So our raft is secured on the shore. And here we are. This is my first steps on land. I'm just going to go ahead and check out this island here. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. That's my backpack. We are starting from scratch, so... No skills at all. I have no... Um, expertise in any area. Oh, there's potatoes on this island. Ooh! There's a kura fruit here. Okay. This is nice little... Nice omens. Kind of want to just walk around the shore for a minute here. See what we've got. Okay, got some rocks. There's a s another stick. That's good. We need a stick. Some palm trees on this island. So there's coconuts here for us to drink. That's good. There's some scrap over there. I don't need that yet. Uh, I will pick up the rock. It's blending in. There's that purple thing. Not going to touch that. Ajuga. Alright. So, on the top left, um, that's kind of like the tutorial. Um, oh, got some cloth. And, um, you would normally think that you would, you know, do everything in the tutor tutorial right away. Um, but actually... You don't need to do it all right away on, on this island. You don't need to... There's certain things that you don't need to... To make right away here and expend those resources when really... You're just trying to survive at the beginning. The beginning of this game is the hardest part of the game. Whoa, fire torch. That's new. Okay, so there may be some updates in this game. Uh, wow, that's a new thing. Or maybe I just never made it? I think it's new. I think there's been some updates in this game since the last time I played it. I just crafted a stone tool, so now we have a little mini weapon. And kill crabs. And we can cut things down with right now we're just kind of gathering and uh, you see that I did fulfill that um, tutorial and so it brought up another one now for me to do but I'm not really focused on that right now I'm just exploring and um, gonna want to make a shelter for the first night just gathering and exploring. It's quite an extensive, extensive beach here. It's nice being back in this game. It's beautiful. Out in the South Pacific. It's a beautiful place to be stranded. I got some stone. Okay, so I don't see any animals uh, other than the crabs that we saw on the shoreline. So that's good. I'm not under any immediate threat from boars or giant crabs, snakes. I think I'm... Oh, it's a nice kurawa. So there's kurawa fruit and kura fruit on this first little island that I've been shipwrecked on here. That's great. Okay. So, um, now that I've looked around, I know that I'm going to want to get this yucca. Now I'm starting from scratch, so um, when I look at my watch, you'll see I have almost no skills at all. No hunting, cooking, barely any... Um, of the other ones as well, so I am starting anew. Gonna have to build all of those back up again. That's fine. That will happen just kind of naturally as I go along in the game. Come on. 
Alright, I think I got all of them. Is there one hiding in here? There's always one hiding there. Oh, there's a yucca fruit. Okay. I don't want to take the fruit because that's um, for planting. So I'm going to leave that. Alright, now what do I need to make my shelter? The first, my first shelter here in this game. Oh, the tool belt. I can actually craft if I made a lashing, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and focus on shelter and campfire first. Alright, so I'm gonna need three sticks. Got two already. Four palm fronds and a lashing. Okay. So for the shelter, I am going to need to chop down one palm tree to get those palm fronds. Um, I'll just find a tree that's kind of out out of the ways. Some big ones. There's the kawawa fruit. Okay, now I'm gonna I remember that at the beginning of this game you get thirsty very quickly and um your only source of water or um drinking at the beginning of the game is the coconuts um, and that's where it can get very dangerous because you can run out of coconuts you can also make yourself sick from drinking coconuts too many times too quickly it's gonna take me a while to chop this down because I have no harvesting skill whatsoever yep and look at that I already need to cool down yeah well let's stick Oh, we've got sunstroke. Okay, let's go ahead and get in the water, guys. <laughs> wow, that was fast. Okay, doing too much in the middle of the day, running around. I have to remember. All right, there we go. Get in the water, cool down. Got rid of the sunstroke. All my other stats look fine, so that's good for now. Ah, it's great being back in this game. It was nice to have a little break away from it. Kind of refresh myself. Just trying to get some shade right now. Okay, that's good. And it's going to start getting darker, so... Um, I think I'm okay for going and getting those palm fronds now. Didn't see any snakes on the island, didn't hear any. So, hopefully, I am clear of that. Because snakes are the one thing that you can miss when you're checking the island. They can be sneaky. But generally, you hear them. They give you some type of warning. Alright, um, let's break down the bunch might end up breaking this stone tool before we upgrade it um, just because our skill is so low that's okay this is just to get our kind of our first camp set up here mm -hmm. got the fronds oh mr. crab was coming for a little bite Okay. inventory is already full look at that yeah so I have no space almost because I have uh, no tool belt yet. Really interested that I have a fire torch. I I do think that that is new. I think that's a completely new item. Um, I don't remember that at all from my previous playing. Unless I just skipped over that. Alright. Okay, so we do need a lashing. So let's get four of these little fiber sleeves. And is that a peepee -pee over there? Oh, there's a peepee -pee on this island. Great. Okay. Well, uh, my inventory's full right now, but I will definitely make sure I pick that up. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and craft the shelter right here in the shade. Um, make that lashing. And. Wow, I've got a lot of things in my hands. Okay, it's all these rocks. I'll just put the planks down for a second. Okay. 
Got everything. All right, let's go ahead and make it. Put it up here, kind of up on the hill, overlooking. All right, we have our shelter. Great, it's just starting to get dark, and we can also save. So let's go ahead and save our progress. Okay. Uh, now the next thing would be the campfire. Um, don't necessarily need it. Uh, but I'm going to need to eat. Looks like food is okay right now. Uh, water is fairly good as well. So don't really... Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, this is just a beautiful island. Look at this, guys. I love it. The sun coming in between the palm trees. Wow. I don't know if they've... They may have updated this game since the last time I played it. Um, that animation is beautiful. I don't remember it being that good. Yeah, I see you. Okay. Well, you know, there is fruit on the island if I need food. Um, so, I'm not going to stress about making the campfire just quite yet. Um, let's see. I might want to just go ahead and upgrade my stone tool, though, before I break it. It's on 26. Um... You can chop down some trees, get some wood. Um, it would be nice just to have the campfire just for night time. Yeah. Oh, upgrading the harvesting. Let's go. That was quick. All right. Must have gotten our first bar already. That's great. Okay, so I think that's everything that you need for a campfire. It's just four sticks, I believe. And that way out there is the um is the gigantic wreck of the ship. That's the way that you get out. That's the final place that you go in this game. So it's nice. I know where that is already. Oh, it's getting dark. I didn't even... What did, how did I miss this part of the island? This is nice. Got the sticks right over here. All right. Wow. How am I missing all of these sticks? <laughs> okay. Great. Guess I did not fully traverse the island. It's a little bit bigger than I thought it was. Okay. The sun has gone down and the moon has come up. Just gonna save one more time and, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna probably go to sleep. Not sure how much I can really get done here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we can build a campfire already. Um, and I guess if I wanted to, I could catch those crabs and cook them. Excuse me. Um, but... One of the things to remember is you don't really need to stay on the first island uh, for too long unless it, unless it is giving you the resources to survive on it. I mean, if I can survive on here, I don't have to leave right away and I can actually probably craft a boat instead of... Um, trying to go across the ocean in my my raft to the next island. So 
I mean, this this first island that we've landed on actually does have quite a bit of resources. Um, there's two more sources of food, two more um, fruit trees on the island. There's plenty of, plenty of crabs. Uh, there's no major predators. So I can start out here for the first couple days um, and kind of build up my my skill level a little bit um, don't want to waste too many resources though that's a, that's one thing to remember you don't want to waste too many resources if I'm not going to be building here and and kind of making my my camp here my base here then I don't need to waste resources building it up too much if you know what I mean I would like to make that tool belt. That would be good. I I think some of these things are new, which is exciting. I'm I'm excited to see. Um, I guess the game has updated. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Now we'll find out. But for now, this is a nice start. I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep. Check my stats when I wake up. Wow. Sun is up. Okay. All right. We are starting to get thirsty very quickly. Okay. So that is, I think that's one of the major reasons why I'm talking about leaving the island is because, yes, I can survive off of the coconuts here um, and there do seem to be quite a few of them here actually um, and, and that is all fine and good nothing wrong with that um, I've had an experience before where I was on an island and there were not that many coconuts and I was actually uh, in danger of dying just of thirst on that island and needed to get off of it kind of was forced to move on to uh, a bigger island where there were more resources and I eventually built that water still that you can um, you can really rely on to to get all of your drinking needs taken care of let's see okay remember how to do that trying to remember all the little things about this game um so I took a drink and <laughs> that got my level up very very slightly uh, barely at all so unless I'm going to build a water still here which is I believe pretty resource heavy um I probably just need to leave and I can come back and get all this great stuff and harvest all this stuff and all that later once I have a sustainable source of water. There are plenty of coconut trees on the island, yes, plenty of coconuts. Um, it's not sustainable, but can last for a couple wow <laughs> so full so full of things um, let's do some piles over here wow a lot of rocks okay um, yeah about what I want to do I could leave the island for a larger island that um, I can build a, a water still on or just build one here and no I think I probably need to leave I'm getting that feeling like 
that would be smarter than just depleting this of all of its resources. Like I'm already starting to do. Yeah. Is this my Aurora? Kuwawa fruit. There it is. Yep. This one is great. Okay, so I'm at three food, two water. Eat the Kuwawa fruit. And it gives me two food and one water, so that's a big boost. And yeah, I'm kind of going back and forth between what I want to do. Oh, did I drop my knife or did I break it back there? I think I broke it when I upgraded my harvesting and I didn't even notice it. <laughs> Got a little excited. Okay, go for a little run. Hey, running is fast. This island is definitely cool though. I like it. It's very chill. Ooh, I wanted to get that pee pee plant before I left too. Can't forget that. Mm -hmm. Got the ajuga. There's the pee pee. All right. No poisoning. We hate poisoning. Okay, get that stone tool. Okay. I am going to save the game and I am going to think about my next move whether I want to stay here um, kind of build a little mini base here on this island with the water still and such or if I just want to leave for a larger island and start creating a base out there uh, one thing I haven't done yet is explored the water for any possible wrecks that might be around the island. It'd be good to know if there were any. Oh, this is this is very nice. I like the way this looks over here. This is cool. Nice fish. I love the way they look. Okay. Not seeing any wrecks yet. Oh, lionfish down there. Let's go up and get some air. And stay away from the lionfish. Getting poisoned early in this game is one of the worst things that can possibly happen to you. If you don't have anything yet to deal with poison, can kind of end your game early. Ooh, I'm going to get my first crate. That's exciting. Oh, I'm full. Okay. <laughs> Thought I had dropped everything. All that excess off. Oh, purple, purple, purple. Almost ran right into it. Okay. Oh, it's all those coconuts that I picked up. Mm hmm. Okay. Try to go grab this crate before I end for this session. Not really seeing any other big wrecks around. Ooh, two rays. Hey, guys. 
Ah. Okay, where was that crate? Don't want to get poisoned. I think it was around this corner here. Oh, big grouper out there. Yeah, there's the crate over there. Oh! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Alright. Upgraded my physical. Got the crate. Let's go. That upgrade scared me. <laughs> I thought it was like a shark. <laughs> well, what's in our first crate? Cool. Jerry can, planks, engine part. That's cool. Nothing really amazing, though. Anything else? I know I'm probably doing a little bit too much right now. Running the risk of getting poisoned or attacked by a shark. Just want to see if there's any more wreckage. I'm not seeing any sharks yet either, which is nice. There's the grouper. A sea snake over there. Okay. Well, I think for now, this is good. We know that we are on a safe island. Uh, we do have the choice of staying here and... Building up resources here, creating a little base here, or leaving for a larger island, doing all of that there and coming back. The second option is probably the one I'm going to take. But, hmm, found some more planks. Can never have too many planks. Planks are great for building. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I saw something out there. Is there a wreck out here? Or I saw some... Yeah. It might just be a rock jutting out of the water. Yeah, I think that's what this is. see anything else. Yeah. Alright. Let's go ahead and get back on shore. And I think this is a nice good start. Oh! <laughs> I know I keep saying I'm going to end it. But look, you see that white, that white um, splashing bit up there. So that is always a sign that there's either a wreck or a rock. So let's go see. It just got a little quiet. It's a wreck. I think there might be a shark out here. Because the music immediately faded out. It's always a sign that the shark music is coming on. Look at this cool wreck. It's like in the rock. Wow. Oh, there's a crate there. Okay. So there is a wreck on this. I or, yeah. In the reef around the island. So we have a confirmed wreck, and there's some crates on it, and definitely going to want to check that out. Alright, now I am going to save, and I'm going to stop this 
recording here and I will decide what I want to do in the next episode.